So we have come today to the National, National Riverside National Cemetery. Yes. To all of our military relatives. For Memorial Day to come visit them. Yeah, on both sides. My father's buried here. My grandfather, my other grandfather, my grandmother, and my uncle. And your uncle? You have four? Four to one in here? Yeah. Well, I guess he's not my uncle. He's my dad's cousin. Your dad's cousin? Yeah. So they have a gravesite locator. Okay. Search by full or partial last name. So let's do... Menold. Theodore. Yeah. The print map. Print the map. Okay. McDowell. Since it's Memorial Day. This cemetery is dedicated to the memory of all the patriotic men and women who have answered their country's call to service. This was put up when Jimmy Carter was the President of the United States. J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Boy, this is going to be a lot. <laughs> 2,194. Please enter a complete or partial first name. Okay, I can do that. Ryle. There's going to be one of them, I'm sure. There he is. And Grandma's right next to him. Um, Ewalt. E oh, he's buried here too? Yep, Stephen. Yeah. Print. That's all. Did we come Anyone to his else? funeral? Your Grandma. She's right next to my grandpa, though. We can see her headstone. Like, we, like we, right next? They're, they had oh. lot, plots right next to each other. Oh, okay. Yeah, awesome. Side by side. So All we right. need to print Four maps. that. Okay, so. Very cool. All right, we're hunting down my father first. 400. Oh, then so he's down there. 64. 670? Seven. We're coming up. There he is. That was pretty easy to find. Yeah. U.S. Navy. He was born December 12, 1929 and died September 7th, 2016. Six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> September 7, 2006. Oh, he's been gone. 11 years. 10, almost, almost 10 and a half years. Yeah. Beloved husband, dad, and grandpa. Alright, off to the next. 51, what? 19? 5150. 16, 17, 18, 19, what? Oh, that was quick. Wayne and McDowell. Lisa's grandfather. Born July 14th, 1923. Oh, World War II, yeah. U.S. Air Force. What is this FO? Um, something officer. Oh, yeah. In the, a field officer for the U.S. Air Force, maybe? We'll have to look that up. Yeah. To September 29th, 2010. Always in our hearts. 2010. That's awesome. Yeah. Grandpa. All right, next. next. So the last gentleman we saw was Lisa's grandfather on her mother's side. Yeah. Grandpa Wayne. Wayne McDowell. Yep. And now this is Lisa's grandparents, the Johnsons, on her father's side, right? Yep. Because Lisa's known as Lisa Johnson. Yeah. So this is Ryle Johnson and Eleanor Johnson. And they have one head um, plate or whatever they're called. Yeah. And then uh, he was January 3rd, 1918 to February 11th, 2016. Oh, he's only been gone a year. Yeah. A little more than a year. And she died before him. And he was 98. She was born January 29th, 1916, and passed on November 28, 2008. 
I see dead people. <laughs> so let's walk back the street. Man, I bet you this place comes to life at night. <laughs> All right. We found Steve Ewald. Here's our last relative at the Riverside National Cemetery. Stephen N. Ewalt, Sergeant U.S. Army, Vietnam, born January 16, 1948, and passed November 7, 2012. Gosh, it doesn't seem like it's been that long. Purple Heart, cherished by his family. All right. In memory for Memorial Day. Of all of our family members that are here in the National Riverside Cemetery. All right. It was good memories. Yeah. Come and think about our relatives and all the good times and loving times we had with them. Hi, hey buddy, we made it home. Put him down. Come here. Come to me, good boy. So happy. You happy we came home again for you? Where'd he go? He dissed me. Oh, he's peeking. He's hiding. There he is. Come see me. Are you thirsty? Oh, Here. he's going to go for his red box. Yep. Bam. <laughs> Bye, Rai Rai.